Carmaine, that's C-H-A-R-M-A-I-N-E. My last name is Carter, C-A-R-T-E-R. -E so Charmaine, tell, walk me through how the last two days have been for you. It's been very crazy. Okay, when they told us it's gonna be probably by the time it hit us, it's gonna be like a category four or five. We tried to make preparations, but we would, it was not enough preparation that we could have made. Because by the time we woke up, Yes, the day after the storm, we woke up to a phone call telling us that we had lost our house. Our trailer had got destroyed. We had a tree that fell on the back half of our trailer, which was our bedroom, where we would have been laying down sleeping. So then when I got back here, we came back because we had two days in Gainesville at a room that we were allowed to get because we couldn't get any room or shelter here. And so when we come back over here to check on it, and then we got back, it was just a mess. We seen all that. Hey, we lost our room, our house, our clothes, our shoes, and all this. We, I mean, we have nowhere to go. We're homeless, completely the same. So I'm like, Lord. So now I'm. I guess it still ain't really hit me, hit me. But what, what's really going on with my situation right now? Because I feel sorry for everybody else's situation. And so that right now, all I'm doing, I'm just praying God and thanking God for my life because it could. I could have been in there. I mean. It, can see, I mean, there's nothing, no, ain't no way that you can fix, ain't, ain't no way that you, and I can't not be replaced. I never been able to replace some of the stuff that I lost, but I'm glad that we're alive right now. You're glad to be alive? Yes, I'm glad for my life, because I could have been in there if I didn't take heed until, and listen, this time, because you all sit there and play with it and act like it, you know, okay, it's just another storm. But then my sister, she works at a nursing home and said that the emergency crew came there. And this man was literally crying. I go to my friend's next door neighbor's house, we stay there and all that. But I'm glad we were all able and follow our mind and hey, listen to somebody to leave our, our place of shelter that we're used to staying in. God, Lord knows, I didn't ever think that I would wake up and be homeless without a house. That right now, but as of right now with everybody without lights and power and all this, it's hard because there's no really, I can go to the shelter out here at the schoolhouses and all that. My husband, he has asthma real bad and he's on a machine and stuff. So I don't feel comfortable going taking him to, a LA, to, to the shelters and stuff like that. So we're still trying to find a room right now for tonight and all this. And then FEMA told me that, that I, they can give me seven to 10 days to, before they can get an inspector out there to look at the house and all that so that they can see what they can help me with. So I'm gonna start to take a day by day right now. Day by day. Right now, I'm supposed to be at work. I come up here. I'm at Hardy's and Cross City. I'm supposed to be at work, but I can't work right now because I'm still trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. So my that they're, they're working with me. My job is they're working with me. Well, so. You're working right now. Yeah, I come up here to uh, to talk to my um, niece that works here. Come here to talk to her, and they were so busy. I was not going to let them fail. So I jumped back in there, put an apron on, and I helped out. So that's the type of person. I'm. That's amazing. Your house is gone. You yes. have no place to live tonight, but you're here yes. feeding people. Yes, because that's the type of, that's the kind of heart God gave me. I don't mind. I help in and everyone. That is just incredible. I was telling him, like, I don't even want to go there. I didn't want to go there. So they're like, he's like, oh, yes, we need to go and check on our house. Because I didn't want to have to think about it. I didn't want to, you know, because I, I told my folks, me, I usually, I probably post them somewhere in the corner crying. But I pulled my hair out and I split it out. I don't, it's just, it's bad. I can't even tell. But I just think I'm alive. That's my big thing. Get out of there. Which is amazing. Because look, I probably, hey, but look, like we done, we rolled out the last storm last year. And nothing compared to this. Right. Nothing compared to this. Um, nothing. Charmaine, right? Yes. Charmaine, thank you so much for talking to us. Yes. Good night. <laughs> I got a baby. I'll be here. All right. Angela. Angela. Yeah.